Hey YouTube, welcome back to the video. We are back with episode number four of the Operator Guides. This week, we are looking at Operators just had a recent buff. This week, we are looking at Amaru. Now, I absolutely love playing Amaru. In this video, we are going to talk to you about the loadout, Amaru's actual purpose on Siege, the ability itself with the grapple hook, and a few different tips of tricks that you can do to spice up your Siege plays really easily. So, let's get stuck into the video. If you haven't already, we have three episodes previously. They are linked below this video right now. If you do like this sort of content, please let me know and please leave a like and subscribe to this channel because we have so many more operator guides and map guides and future tips and tricks to come for the Rainbow Six Siege series and I'm very, very excited. So if you do want to see a certain operator covered in the guide videos, let me know in the comment section because I want to get as many videos sorted for you guys as possible. But without further ado, let's jump straight in and see what Amaru is all about. So we're going to start off with Amaru's loadout. So first of all, Amaru's main kind of ability is called the Gara Hook, but we'll go on to that later on in the video and tell you exactly how you can use it and how it's very, very effective of being an entry fagger with Amaru. But we're going to start, jump straight in with Amaru's loadout. So primary weapons, Amaru has the G8A1 LMG. I absolutely love this weapon. It is so much fun. And the second weapon is the Supernova. Now, there's no right or wrong way to play Amaru. Both weapons work in perfect ways. So Amaru is classed as an entry fragger and all about getting onto sites quickly and effectively and be able to kind of clear sites and take the enemies by surprise. There's so many times where I've used Amaru to just breach onto a site and the enemies are still putting down frost traps, maestro cams, reinforcing walls, and you can take out a couple of enemies and breach onto site. So depending on which way you want to go down, both, are, both weapons are very, very, very good choices. Me personally, I prefer the GAA one. I love LMGs in this game, they're just so fun. The way I have mine set out is an ACOG with a flash hider and then the vertical grip. I just find that the ACOG overall suits me. Some people don't like the ACOG sights on guns, but it kind of just takes time to get used to. I didn't when I first started playing the game. But with a lot of guns, I tend to play kind of held back and kind of create angles and hold different angles. So ACOGs works perfectly for me. Moving down into the secondary weapons, it has the ITA-12S shotgun. You also see the shotgun with mirror. And then the SMG-11. We are actually Weird Flex rocking the, rocking the black ice with it. Now, out of the two, I personally prefer the SMG-11. Just because if you do kind of jump in and into a site and you, you spray with the LMG and miss a few shots, you can quickly pull out the SMG-11 for close range and take out the enemies. So it's the combination that I personally prefer. It's the GAA1 and the SMG11. The way I have my SMG11 set out is with a holographic, the flash hider, and then the vertical grip as well. Gadget wise, again, there's no real right or wrong. With a Claymore, it's very, very, very efficient because if you can breach onto site very quickly and get down the early control of a map, place down the Claymore, it prevents any roamers trying to come back onto site to counter you because the Claymore will take them out. Or in the other direction, the flashbangs are very, very effective, or sorry, stun grenades are very effective of be able to just quickly flash through a window, then Amaru gra grapple hooking through the window and breach onto site when the enemies are completely unaware what's going on, they can't see you, and within seconds you're already on site and able to take them out. So it just depends how you want to kind of play Amaru. Do you want to pre-flash the site and then breach in, or do you want to quickly just gamble and go into the site and then hold the early map control with the claymores? So we're going to jump straight into a quick custom game. I'm going to show you the recall pattern of the GAA1 and how you can control it and make the weapon even better. So let's jump in. So I'm going to show you in a kind of uncontrolled recoil pattern with Amaru's LMG GAA1. So this is just straight aiming in, holding the left trigger. So it's kind of up and then off center, up to the right. So patterns like this are quite easy to control because all you do, first of all, to counter the vertical spray, you just bring your mouse down just a little bit just to control it. And then once it starts going off to the right about halfway through the spray, you just then bring your mouse slightly to the left. So all you do is go down and then slightly to the left and your, your kind of aim spray should remain very, very central. So we'll, we'll try, we'll give it a go. Aim in, so remember, straight down and then a little bit left. So as you can see, there's, there's a big difference between not controlling your recoil and then actually controlling the recoil. So weapons like this, it just takes time to get used to playing the operator and understanding the gun and how it works. So yeah, a big tip on doing this is jumping into a quick custom match and just kind of experimenting with different attachments, which you prefer with an ACOG scope, reflex scope, things like that. The actual spray control itself for Amaru is very, very easy to control, which makes it such a good operator 
to be able to just entry frag into a site even with an ACOG scope and quickly kind of pick out enemies even at long distances whilst they're reinforcing different sites and putting traps down at a distance. We're now going to look at Amaru's actual purpose as an operator. Amaru is classed as an entry fragger, so the best way to play Amaru is to quickly breach onto a site and again, as I've said so far in this video, clear out as many enemies as you can. But there's, there's two ways. You can either play it slowly, so breach into and get early map control and allow your teammates to then push onto site and help you kind of take full map control, or you can just full send it, which I absolutely love to do. So, but let's say for example, the bomb site is in pink bedroom on the house map. A great early advantage to get to. Go straight into the window. Early map control and then start taking out enemies that may be reinforcing windows over here. Start reinforcing walls over here. Putting down frost traps, maestro cams. Be able to push your way in. So there's a very, very, very quick ways to play ammo to pretty quickly get onto sites and clear out any enemies who are reinforcing or still putting down traps. And because ammo is an entry fragger, you can catch so many people off guard breaching into sites very quickly. Now, there is an alternate way to play Amaru. You don't always have to kind of just breach straight into the actual site windows. You can, again, breach a different eye. So even if it's the same floor level, you can breach a different different room completely. And again, get gain early map control and then begin to push in very, very slowly with the rest of your team. So great communication, great entry fragger, and that weapon itself is very, very good as well. So there's a really, really good way to play Amaru. And it's why I personally really think Amaru is a great addition to Rainbow Six Siege. Now, Amaru has just had a recent buff. There's been a big, big, big change to the Garahooks. So what used to happen, I've been trying to find old footage of the clips, but I can't find anything at the minute. So what used to happen with the Garahooks, Amaru would grapple onto a window, the window would just come down, and then Amaru would then begin to, the, her kind of climb into the window. But what this would do for an enemy is, first of all, alert that Amaru is about to breach into site, give them time to turn around, know which window it's coming from, and basically prepare for Amaru to come yeeting through the window and basically counter Amaru very, very easily. Now, what they've done is they've changed it now, which I'm going to show you is with the Gara hook, it will latch onto the window and the window itself won't won't come down until the point that Amory is about to breach into the site. So let me show you. Lock onto the window. Window stays there. As you can see, the window drops exactly when Amory pushes into site, which means there's a lot less time for the enemies to be able to react and counter you and kind of get ready to kind of turn around and shoot where you're going to come from. But it makes Amory even stronger as an operator. A great way to play just to kind of catch so many enemies off guard and this is exactly the purpose of Amaru is to try to catch as many enemies off guard as possible. So along with the recent buff with, with Amaru there's been a recent change with Gara hooks on hatches. So what used to happen is you, you used to have to clear the hatch before before Amaru could then get into the, the hatch and climb up. Now that's not a thing anymore. Now within a quick Gara hook you can basically clear out the hatch and breach into sight. So let's for example the bomb site is slightly a slight up above. You don't have to get a teammate to clear the hatch you can quickly Gara hook the hatch and catch your way in. So another very, very good way to play Amaru is if you're breaching kind of below the bomb site, you can catch enemies off guard by coming through the hatch and then make your way onto site, just like I've done here. I'm now going to show you a few tips and tricks that you can use with Amaru to remaining. really make a big difference as a teammate and to catch even more enemies seconds. off guard. I feel like I've been saying that quite a lot in this video, but it's true. That's what Am Amaru does. Five Let's show you. Left. So the first tip is that you can use Amaru as kind of vertical support. So you can plant the bomb and then actually hold the angle of the site from above. Now, a lot of enemies will not think to look above when trying to go in and defuse the bomb. So what they, what you can do is perfect situation in house, the bottom floor, the gym bomb site. First of all, the hatch, this is going to be your biggest friend. Rather than trying to plant in the bomb right here and holding it at the back angle or in here, some of the most obvious angles and be taken out quite easily, you can use the hatch as your advantage. So we're going to try and do the exact same thing right now. I'm going to plant the bomb and get ready to turn around and get through the hatch very, very quickly. Diffuser is online and active. What you can then do is then hold the bomb site from above. So not many enemies will think to look above when going for the, the actual diffusal. So rather than holding an angle on site and get taken out very, very easily, using things is a very, very simple trick, but it can help you win so many more rounds. So a very, very simple way just to hold an angle from above. There's so many different ways. So you still have the flashes as well to when you hear the enemy breaching into the site, you can flash them off. Which will push down the time and hold the angle to prevent anybody trying to defuse the bombs and basically winning the round for your team. So, Successful a very simple team. trick, but it makes a big difference in actually holding an angle from above and 
still maintaining that full map control, which is what ammo is all about. So whether you go for the, the LMG or the shotgun, there's not a massive difference between the two. Both are really, really fun to play. I see I personally prefer the LMG route. Or you can choose to go another shotgun route, gain the early map control, put the claymore down, or keep fragging out with the flashbangs and push even further and take even more enemies out. So the, the recent buff to Amaru has made us such a really, really useful operator now within Rainbow Six Siege. I really enjoy playing it, and I think you guys will as well. Hopefully the tips in this video have been useful and you'll be able to implement them with your own style of playing the game. So just mess around, jump in a few custom games, learn the recoil controls. It's very, very important with any operator and just have fun. Guys, if you have liked the video, please leave a like on the video. It lets me know that you do, you do enjoy this sort of content and I'm really excited to keep pushing more videos out in this series. If you haven't already, please click subscribe on the channel. We are on the climb to 3,000 subscribers right now. So a massive, massive thank you. And as again, if you have any questions, I stream on Twitch five days a week. The link is below the description right now. I'm always around to answer any questions about operators. If you have a certain operator you'd like to see in the next video, please let me know in the comment section below because I want to get loads of videos planned moving forwards. Guys, thank you very much for taking the time out to watch this sort of video. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Stay awesome. Roll the tape.